Hey guys, welcome back to The Mensch. Hopefully by the end of today's video, you guys will have a good idea of which penny loafers are right for you. So a little while ago, I realized I love penny loafers really for two reasons. One is that they're slip-on, so I'm usually running late, so I just slip them on, I'm out the door, no laces, no anything, really quick. The second reason is because they come in a lot of different styles and can suit almost any occasion. So let's just go through my collection. We're gonna start with super casual and go all the way up to really dressy and hopefully find the right ones for you. So let's start with the first ones from Blake McKay. As you can see, these are very casual because they're basically a sneaker. So the outsole is rubber, very flexible, just like a sneaker, and the inside has an athletic insole. So coming in at 80 bucks, these are very affordable, and actually what's nice is that the inside has a leather lining, which is it's pretty luxurious at this price point. These are great with shorts. I think if you live in a warmer climate or the summer just ended, these are great with a pair of shorts and chinos. And these are really good in the heat because you can just wear these with a pair of shorts and a polo and look great. These next ones are from Meerman, and these are definitely my favorite going into fall. A, because of the leather, which is a suede. So suede is great for, those, uh, for the fall weather. And also the color, which is a really beautiful, they call it, they call it snuff brown, but it just has a really luxurious shade to it that's gonna go with a lot of those fall colors. I'm thinking like green, red, and navy. Now they're also very casual because if you look, the vamp is very short, which basically means that the tongue doesn't really go up that far relative to other penny loafers. Now shoe enthusiasts really like Merriman as a brand. You can check on like Reddit and stuff because these are Goodyear welted, so they're recraftable and very high quality, but they come in under $200, which is actually pretty rare to find in a Goodyear welted shoe. So if you're looking for a loafer for this fall, this is the one for you. Okay, next is Allen Edmonds. This is for the guy who loves Made in USA, classic um, Ivy League style. Your grandfather probably had a pair of Allen Edmonds, and I actually picked these up for 14 bucks at a thrift store. So keep an eye open if you guys go thrifting. Uh, these are also have a low vamp, so they're pretty casual. And I really love the oxblood leather. Allen Edmonds is known to be a super high quality brand, and like I said, these are good, you're welted. And what's really cool about Allen Edmonds is that when you wear down the sole, you can actually ship them back to Allen Edmonds and they'll put a brand new sole on it for you for a relatively reasonable price. So again, these are the Ivy League style loafer, perfect for the guy who likes a preppy look. Now for one that's actually not a penny loafer, it's the newest one in my collection, we've got the J Butler. These are horse bit loafers. The horse bit loafer has a more luxurious feel, and they're actually pretty comfortable for being such a thin sole. They're pretty comfortable. And I actually reached out to one of the guys who works at the company on Instagram. He told me one of the reasons they get so comfortable is they use a foam sole, but they actually put cow skin uh, leather lining on the sole, whereas most companies use pig skin. So what's great about these is that you can pretty much wear them with shorts uh, and jeans and, and, and maybe chinos, as long as you're wearing a dressier shirt too. This is great for a guy who wants a little bit more of a high end look, but still stays relatively casual. So if you don't yet have a pair of penny loafers, this would be my suggestion for your first pair. They're from Beckett Simonon, and I think they do a great job of straggling the line between casual and dressy. It's got a little bit of a taller vamp than the ones that we previously looked at, but they're still casual and I like the mock toe a lot. Like I said, the reason I would recommend these as a first pair is because you can rock these with jeans and chinos, but I think you can even get away with these with a suit. So these penny loafers, like the next two I'm gonna show you, are really your classic style of penny loafer, which is why you're able to dress them up and dress them down. One thing to note about Beckett Simon is that since they crowdsource, you're gonna have to wait a few months from the time you order them until you actually get them. But this way they save money, so you, you save money also, and it's more sustainable for the environment. All right, so we're gonna kick it up a notch. We're gonna go for the Johnson Murphys Made in Italy. So these are dressy, and I love that they have a sole that's it's leather, but it also has a patch of rubber that's gonna add some durability and some grip. My favorite thing about Johnson Murphy, they're a classic brand, kind of like Allen Edmonds, but the staining on these and the finish and the paint job is just so beautiful. It's really unlike any other penny loafer I've seen, and I think if you like the look, you should definitely go for these. I would say these and maybe styles like these are perfect as work shoes for a business setting. Let's continue with the Made in Italy theme. These are from Ace Marks, which is an online only brand. So like I said, these are made in Italy and it actually has a more European look to it because the vamp, unlike the earlier ones that were casual, has a really long vamp. And again, these are great for a business setting or wearing with a suit, but I will note that these are a little bit big on me. So if you're going with the sizing on the website, I would say go down half the size. So let's finish off the collection with these Paul Evans penny loafers. These are the fanciest in the collection. I think they're, they're great for the guy who's always suited up and wants to show it. So these definitely look the part. They definitely look very expensive. The leather feels great and looks amazing. And you can see that the mock toe stitching is not so pronounced on these, which gives it a sleeker look. There's some really nice details, like they have nails in the tips of the sole to keep that durability. So if you're looking to put your penny loafer collection over the top, and maybe you wanna get a penny loafer for a, for a really nice occasion, I think these are the ones for you. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully by now you know which penny loafer is right for you. Any thoughts or questions you might have, drop a comment below. 
and also check out the description where I'll have links to all these shoes. If you want to see me style these penny loafers, follow me on Instagram where I post daily style inspiration. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Peace.